All right, we're on step 17. We're gonna take this coupler, the plane coupler, and we're going to mark it at the three inch point, which is exactly the middle. And we wanna do that several times around so that we get a nice straight line. Okay, so now we're gonna take this, slide it on here, and we're gonna go right up until those lines right there. And from here, we're going to glue it in place. And this is in step 18, just as uh, running some thin CA. So I got thin CA and I'm just gonna wick it on the edge. And I do both sides. Now you'll see that this is not in the middle. It's off to one side. The side here is gonna be the back. So I'm gonna put B for back. So now we're on step 19, and we're gonna take this plywood bulkhead, and we're gonna find our screw eye. We're gonna pop that out and then screw this in. And I'm gonna leave it in the threads, and I'm gonna take some medium super glue. I'm gonna put glue on both sides to keep that screw eye in place. All right, step 20. The back end of the inner stage is the side with the three inch coupler exposed. Now we're gonna glue this into here. Now this is a critical piece. Originally, we were gonna wood glue this in, but we had a problem where this holds the two stages together and the top stage is on this end, the bottom stage is down here. When that top stage fires, it's putting its exhaust all the way in there and it's just kind of pressurizing this tube. And we had one flight where this popped out because the fillets weren't strong enough with wood glue. So on this, we're gonna actually use epoxy fillets. So I'm just gonna tack this in here for right now and then put some thick epoxy fillets on there because we wanna make sure that this doesn't pop out. If this pops out, then the booster stage is going to not push its parachute out and then the booster stage is gonna come tumbling in. Right now I just want to just kind of tack this in place, leaving enough room to put a nice healthy fillet on both sides of this piece. All right, so I'm going to start mixing up some epoxy here and then we'll go ahead and put those fillets on. I decided to use the uh, G-Flex from West Systems. The reason is it's a thicker epoxy than the, the five minute stuff. So I'm going to do equal amounts of both. Okay, so that's a good fillet on that side, and then we'll put one on the inside. Okay, that looks pretty good. So we'll just let that cure, and then we'll come back. We'll do step 21. Okay, we're on step 21. Our epoxy is hard from the last step. So now we're gonna take the booster stage and we're going to push the shock cord out, which came out nice. And we need to thread this through the zipper shield. And with it all frayed like that, it's gonna be really hard to go through. So what we're gonna do is take some thin CA glue and just saturate those fibers right below the frayed part. And that's gonna stiffen that right up. So now it's nice and hard and I'm not sticking to it. But now we're gonna take it and we're gonna cut it. And I wanna cut it kind of at an angle. So I got a nice point on it that's easy to go through the holes in the zipper shield. So there's that. And then we're going to thread this through these holes. Okay, so now we wanna make that, move that zipper shield all the way down to the bottom right where it comes out of the tube. Okay, so you can see I got the zipper shield half in, half out, and that's the way we want because we want it to bend over the side at ejection so that it spreads the force of the load on that string so it doesn't dig into the cardboard. Next, we'll take our heat shield and we need to cut that buttonhole 
So just take your knife and run it right through the fabric right in the middle there. Open that up. Okay, next, the step 23 is to tie this to the screw eye on the base of this. It's nice and tight. And then step 24 is to attach the parachute. Now you can do this later after you've painted the rocket, but the instructions call for it right now. You're gonna have to do it before you fly the rocket though. So that's not optional. So that's gonna be there. The one in the, the middle goes from corner to corner across the diagonal. And then this one here goes from that corner to that corner. So if you do it right, it should lay flat with no twisted strings. So then what I do is I, I grab down here and I'm kind of pulling on these and going them back and forth to make sure that all the corners are in one little bundle down here at the bottom. And then take that right here. That's gonna go through the screw eye. Keep holding that one spot right there. And then take the tip, pass it through. Keep holding there, don't let that go. Okay, just like that. So now that's attached. That's the end of step 24. And then you can wind everything up and stick it into the tube to keep it out of the way. And in step 25, we'll start the assembly of the upper stage. So now our booster stage is ready. It's ready for sanding and painting, and we'll get that in one of the later steps. So that's the booster stage. Okay, we're on step 25. Um, we are not going to be building with a dual deployment eBay. So for that, if you're building for dual deployment, you're gonna cut this tube here, but we're not. We're gonna build this standard per the instructions. So in step 25, the third, first thing to do is to remove this excess piece from both of these tubes. The other one came apart. This one has to be cut. Okay, step 26, we're going to take the motor mount tube and the two centering rings. So from this sheet here, centering ring, that centering ring, we're going to pop those out of the sheet. Also remove those. And what we want to do is to take this tube and this ring and you want to slide it onto the tube and you want the text facing the long direction. And now we're going to actually, we're going to glue this in place and the distance is we're going to use it. We're going to use this again. So this is where we're going to glue and I'm just going to mark it where my glue line is going to be. Okay, we're just going to set this aside to dry. Just make sure that this is not going to accidentally glue itself to there. In step 28, we've got the one with the uh, fin slots. There's going to be two rail buttons installed there. So you're going to want to get the last two rail buttons and the two weld nuts and the two little screws. And as before, we'll glue these in place. Okay, step 29. So this edge right here. There's not going to be a centering ring in the back. This is where the tube coupler is going to slide in. And we want to, want to make sure that it slides in nice and easy and then it stays that way over a long period of time. So get out your safety glasses and what we want to do is just take the thin CA glue and it's clogged. Okay, we want to go around the perimeter like this. All right, so then once it's hard, take some 320 grit sandpaper and just sand that edge down, make it nice and smooth. Okay, this has to fit on here really easy, easy peasy, because we want this to separate quickly when the rocket motor fires and separates the stages. So that I like that fit. If yours is tight, you can either sand that inside edge or sand down the outside edge of this coupler. So that's step 29.